Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. This is another episode of Draft to Glory, and I'm wearing my Santa Claus shirt. And I really, really look like the fat Portuguese Santa, just with a mohawk instead. And I know in the comments, y'all gonna say, Skills, that mohawk looks really stupid. I'm gonna fix that right now. Swag! Then I bust out the swag in the comments down below. How much swag is this outfit? I would say over 9,000, my dudes. Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, if you missed the last episode of the Draft to Glory, there's a playlist on my channel. Just go check it out. You can get all caught up. If you're not caught up, turn this shit off now because I'm about to spoil this series for you. I don't want to do that for you. So turn this shit off. X that thing off. All right, you're gone. All right, cool. Yo, we packed the Bruin in the last episode. We got super lucky. He ended up selling for only 69. 69, you know what I'm saying? 69 in the comments down below. Yo, 69 is what he sold for, and I sold a few other things, so now we're at 74,000 coins. So if you do some basic math, we can get four drafts guaranteed to us, plus when we get packs out of those drafts, even if we go in the first round, we're gonna get packs. After we sell those things, we're looking at like five to six drafts, so whoa, draft the glory going strong, baby! With that being said, we're about to jump into this, but before we do, we smash 10,000 likes once Again, y'all dominated that thumbs up button. So, if y'all could do that again, that would be absolutely amazing. I love you, Booyah Nation. Y'all the best people in the world. Matter of fact, high five, baby. I am about to draft, and a lot of people have been saying to me that I'm not that good at drafting, so I got a special guest for you guys today. Are you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to George Jesus. Now, you might not know who that is if you're not familiar with the Portuguese league. This guy used to coach Befica. Then he left us and went to Sporting, who's our rivals. And now, he's in my seat with me. George Zeus, you ready to draft? Last night of the draft, my dude. 442451431243 holding at 442. A lot of people told me to switch it up and use a different formation. I don't really see a different formation I want to use. I mean, the 442 flat, I don't really like it. 451, I kind of like it. Matter of fact, let's go with the 451, man. Let's do it. We never ran with that, have we? I don't think we have. Let's do 451. George, if I don't get good captains, I'm fucking getting rid of you. I better get good captains. Oh, shit. Booyah Nation, there's a moment in your life when you realize you fucked up. And this was the moment for me. I fucked up so bad here, boys. I forgot to shrink myself, so my big ass head is in the way of the right card on the screen. I apologize for that. You'll still be able to watch the draft, but my head kind of covers the right card, so my bad. I'm gonna get on a diet ASAP. Sorry. Love you. See you soon. Oh, shit. All right, we got the Beast Man Sterling. We know how great. Sick of that damn thing. Sterling's fantastic, but I know damn well you guys are gonna be like, oh, you took Sterling in the last one, so I'm gonna take Ibra, even though I really don't wanna take Ibra. That's a lot of Ibra talk. Let's get Ibra, fuck it, man. We got Ibrahimovic, I'm hoping for Lucas. Lucas, RIP in peace, my dudes. RIP in peace, but we do get League One, which is pretty damn important because well, and it's Ben Arfa. We'll take him. I wish I would've got the informed Ben Arfa. We don't, but we get Ben Arfa, we'll take it. Then we hit big boy De Bruyne. What I think I'm gonna try to do is go uh, League One and BPL. I think that's what I'm gonna try to go with. I don't see no French here, so we have a choice. Yaya Torre, De Bruyne, or Santi Cazula. Yaya Torre is an amazing card, but I think I'm gonna pass it up for the beast man, De Bruyne. Which I don't know if I should have done that, but I YOLO swagged it and went with it. Then we get the legend Stevie G. We get Davis from the BBVA. That's not going to help us. So I'm going to take Verratti. That's going to link up beautifully with my man Ibra. Oh, wait. I messed that up because Ibra. Oh, RIP in peace. Maybe I can still fix this. I actually messed up, bro. I forgot the only link is with Ebra and then on the side. Oh, I messed it up, homies. Doesn't matter, man. I, I think I can fix it. Everybody calm down. I actually, that's a new move, man. Hashtag new move in the comments, man. I really fucked that one up right there. Uh, BBVA, BBVA. I don't really see a move here. So I'm just going to take the best thing I can get. I don't really see a move. So I'm going to take the best I can get. All right, let's go with it. Ah, yo, this is actually going kind of bad now that I think about it. Oh, really bad. I don't get nothing from the BPL right here. Absolutely nothing from the BPL. I don't get a Spanish. Actually, I get a Spanish player. I'm going to have to take him. So that's a big link right there. As you can see, that's a big, 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 big boy link right there. We'll take that. But now all of a sudden, I'm in position where De Bruyne is not really fit in the team. So that kind of sucks balls. I might have to switch it up and go BBVA now because we have two BBVAs right there. And then we get the Frenchman right here, so we can have a big Sevilla side if I take this. And I think I'm going to. I'm going to take the Sevilla Frenchman. Oh, shit. This is out of control, man. I I'm going a direction I never even thought I was going to go. Now it goes back to the BPL, and I don't get a BBVA, which sucks balls. So I think here I'm going to take... See, I want to take... 
Cahill, but I'm not because I do have a Belgium from the BPL. So I'm going to take the Belgium, man. Oh, this is all over the place, dudes. Holy moly. I got the Frenchman Varane, and I have to take the Frenchman Varane. I have to. Even though I want to take Otamendi, I got to take the Frenchman. I know I have to, so let me do it. Oh, my God. All right, let me see how this links up. I got tens. I got tens. I got sevens. It's going okay. It's going not that bad. All of a sudden, the team's starting out okay. I don't know how this happened, but it's all it's working all of a sudden. Here I come up with nothing. I get no Frenchman. I get no League One. I get no BPL. Uh, so I'm just going to take the best in the position. It looks like it's Jerome Breda. I didn't really want him, but I took him. So YOLO, whatever it is, what it is. Now we get the, La Le uh, the, the League One, man. But it's not going to work. Oh, God. Can I get a BPL? Can I get a, can I get a BPL? No BPL, no nothing. I'm going to take Trap here, man. I got to take Trap. And hopefully now I get a French Loris. Damn. R.I.P. in peace. Who do I take, boys? Bravo or Donny Alves? I mean, uh, Alves. Diego Alves. I think I'm going to take Bravo. I really think I'm going to take Bravo here, man. The Barcelona man, Bravo. No Real Madrid co goalkeeper, no BPL goalkeeper. So I'm going to take Bravo. Let's get it. Bravo will link up a little bit with Varane. Now he's on seven. Let's keep it moving and hopefully I can fix this draft because it was going good. Then it kind of went bad. And now all of a sudden it's going way better. Right? Maybe? Maybe not? No, no, maybe. What do I do here? Ooh, I got to take company here, yo. I legit have to take company, I think. I think I have to take company. Because I don't get anything else that would really help me. Although I could take Baines and play him at right back. Even though he's a left back. But I'm going to take company. Ah, I don't know if I should have done that. Oh my gosh, I took company, boys. I don't know if I should have taken company. But I'll show you why I took company in a minute. Now I'm going to take the left back from, from Chelsea, the Spanish man. Because I'll play him at right back. I need, give me some luck here, boys. Please give me. EA, man, just a little bit of luck, my dudes. Let me take the Lord. Let me take the Frenchman from Leon. Le from Leon, I think. Maybe. Or I could take Santi Cazula. Damn, I'm taking the Frenchman. Oh, my God, boys. This is actually getting real difficult now. Another French player. This one is big. I'm taking him for sure. I have to. I got to take the Frenchman from Sevilla because we had... Oh, we, uh, well, uh, maybe maybe that was big. Whoo! I'm confusing myself right now, man. Right, I got Sanchez. That's a big card. But that's not really going to help us at all. So I'm going to take a backup striker from the BBVA. Because possibly I could switch to an all BBVA. But there's no way I'm benching Ibra. I got to make Ibra work. Taking Jawong Mutingu. I'm going to be able to fix this. I'm telling you, man. We're going to fix this damn team. Now I get a right back. But I'm taking Clichy. And he's going to work out perfectly. Even though he's not going to be... In his right position. Now he links up with company, De Bruyne. And he links up with my man, Ben Arfa. So that's going to work out pretty damn well. Now we have Joao Mutingu as well. Let's keep going, baby. Maybe we get some more luck. Let's see. Nothing really helping us here. We get Jones and we get Harry Kane. I'm going to take Harry Kane as another backup striker in case we want to go BPL. This, nothing really. Then we get a left mid. We also get ben, we get Benzema. Damn, I think I have to take Benzema right here. I think I have to take Benzema for the sole purpose of... I could keep Ben Arfa. I think I got to take Benzema. And he's French. I'm taking Benzema here. I legit think I'm taking Benzema. I think I'm taking... Oh, my God. This is actually so difficult. Give me a little bit of luck, man. Nothing here. BBVA right back. That's all we get. My defense is all on 10. Verratti's on 7. And... Ben Arfa's on seven. But besides that, everyone else, 10, 10, 10. I don't really feel like I drafted the best right now. I try to keep it different, man. I try to go 4 5 1 because a lot of people were sick of me playing 4 3 3 in the formations over and over. And I try to go at Ebra because I, I know people were sick and tired of me playing with the same people over and over. Ronaldo or Sterling or Sturridge. I kept playing with the same people over and over. So I try to go at Ebra to make it different for you guys. Hopefully that didn't hurt me more than it helped me. I think I still should be okay because this is a decent team. It's not the best. We only have four players on seven. Everybody else is on 10. And it's a pretty cool hybrid, man. We have League One. We have BPL. We have BBVA. We have a lot of different things in there. So it's a unique team. Let's see if we can win it, win the draft with this team. Let's go into game one. School. All right, Booyah Nation. Game number one with our kind of unique team. 
team and you're probably wondering skills where's the webcam where's the live com well when i was playing this it was late o'clock at night and i wasn't trying to wake up everybody in my house and also right now my hair's not done i kind of look like poo poo so i didn't want to put my webcam on when i was commentating and y'all can be like skills you got a mohawk you always look like poo poo but yeah i look really really bad right now but anyways man this guy takes a lead six minutes into the game but luckily we got the big frenchman ben arfa tucking one home in the 14th minute and making it one one now i want to talk a little bit about this team i drafted i took the orange ibrahimovic and every time i take ibrahimovic in the draft boys i seem to struggle just the other day i took the was the inform ibrahimovic or the regular ibrahimovic i don't even remember but i took him on my live stream when i was doing a little draft uh, uh thing on on stream and i struggled heavily with ibrahimovic i really 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 struggled and i don't know if it's what if it's my play style or if it's the fact that i can't abuse his height because i suck at crossing even though i'm gonna score a cross in this episode i do suck at crossing so i couldn't really abuse ibrahimovic to its full potential and i started thinking to myself because i was reading the comments down below and all the draft of glories and people want me to switch up their skills we're bored of the 433 we're bored of you taking ronaldo messi and neymar we're bored of the 4312 and i kind of get it first of all look at fifa 16 on deck for you boys look at that man watch this back i hit an instant replay for you i hit him with the scoop and then he takes me out and that's not a penalty yo how is that not a pen either way cliche is gonna send a big boy ball into the middle and the french connection man frenchman the frenchman into the back of the net the french connection is real that's three one and that's gonna send us on to the next round but like i was saying man not taking Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, especially Ronaldo and Messi. You're putting yourself at a disadvantage in this game because let's be honest, Neymar, Messi, especially Ronaldo, they're overpowered players in this game. And as great as Ibrahimovic is, I don't think he compares to Cristiano Ronaldo. And in this series, it's must win games. We need to beast and feast in every single draft to stay alive and keep this series going. So I know y'all want me to do different teams and I will attempt to do different types of teams a lot more hybrids but i think from now on i'm gonna pick the best players no matter if i'm using them too much although i am gonna switch it up like i wish i would have taken ibrahimovic and then got a little bit of luck by getting ronaldo as well and try to do like an ibrahimovic ronaldo hybrid maybe here when i took ronaldo i got a little bit unlucky i feel like the only other beast player i got was that informed De Bruyne and then everything else was kind of like eh this guy took a late lead and I didn't think I was going to pull it back but Varati in the 86th minute tucks it into the back of the net and this game was frustrating boys because I had that 4-5-1 which I'm not that great with Ibrahimovic was up top by himself and I felt like I couldn't create chances I don't know if it was he was too slow I didn't have enough people getting forward in the 90th minute or the 88th minute I should have won the game right there and I fluffed it then we moved on to extra time where I have another amazing opportunity I'm telling you man it's all me no Nothing for my opponent, a header that Petr Cech clears, and that's going to take us into penalties. Although I kept pushing, I kept attacking. Look at De Bruyne here, do a big boy move. De Bruyne trying to win the game for us, even going to get one more opportunity. How the hell did we not score? We go to penalties, and I'm going to fast forward it for you. So like I said, man, I felt like Ibra was alone up top. Ibra's not the fastest. I know pace doesn't really matter in FIFA 16, but when I am playing a single striker in like a 4-5-1, I like having somebody kind of pacey so he can hold the ball up top and maybe even burn people, but... I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to say it was the team. Obviously, I didn't score enough goals, and then I missed the penalty right there. And you can tell, by the way, I'm talking, your boy's pretty much going out in the quarterfinals. That's one of my rare occasions, man. I usually either go out in the semis or make the final and lose the final. It's the first time in this series I've gone out in the quarterfinals, and I've actually been performing pretty bad, especially for the fact that on my main account and on a lot of my accounts, I constantly win the draft. But on this, we've been struggling a little bit. Luckily, we got that De Bruyne, which was going to keep us alive. And going out in the second round, we got really, 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 really poo-poo packs, man. Really poo-poo packs. But I'll show you exactly what I got. I sold everything, obviously. And the draft of glory is going to continue. But I think, let me know in the comments down below. Would you guys like to see players like Ibrahimovic and unique players we never lose or, would, or never use? Or would you rather see players that you know I'm going to win with, like Ronaldo's and Messi's and, St and Inform Starlings and BPL teams? Would you rather see me win and keep the series going or play with unique teams and try to win and never know what's really going to happen? I got this silver pack, which pretty much got me nothing, but I am going to attempt to sell everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, boys. If you did, can we get over 10,000, actually over 9,000 likes? Can we get over 9,000 likes? That would be absolutely incredible. Promise the next one will be live. Con Booyah Nation, I love your faces, and I promise I will play better for you in the next one because I got shit it on no excuses bad team good team your boy got the willy at the end of the day i'm a bad fifa player i'll see you next time boys y'all be safe booyah